Traveler, you've come at a good time. Wait, this sounds like another commission. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Huh? What happened? Not long ago, we received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become... contaminated. Contaminated? You mean... a new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest inhabitants won't leave their home so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him! Astra Abyssosk. Follow the wind. down. Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> tell mom that I should have listened to her. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? No can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. 
How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasunti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidya forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region, huh? Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way! All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Time to go. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the Academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. 
All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right, we'll go and have a word. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of Mora had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't the academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right, it's really weird. So, you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? 
Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Hmm, well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh yeah, no problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry, we're professionals. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Now let's get to it! We'll definitely capture that criminal crab! Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. The Sumter Beast went ahead! Let's keep up with it. Huh? Why did it stop? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed their animals as scheduled. All right, it's moving again. Strong, be careful. I hear everything. <laughs> Can't see. Cut to the chase. Don't blink. Hey, I waste to the wicked. Gah. Gah. One with nature. Speed of light. doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. <sighs> I 
I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay, so you want the crag to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Hyman gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. Uh. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better.
Keep up. looking for inspiration. But how do we find him? Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? Hey, buddy. What's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gondarverville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rosie. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gondarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's go say hi. Kale, how have you been? Huh, Paimon and Traveler. Huh, I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. The sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R &R stories, too? Of course! I love them! Oh, people who like R&R &R are the best! <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Kali's so good with kids! <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Omos called Tanja. And he's here in Gondarverville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, wait. When you say Tanja, 
Do you mean the Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja. So he's in the area? Looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing. <sighs> Could you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razzie back to Gandavraville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <sighs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on! Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in you're Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at a car across told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Rossi! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case... We should take you back to Gundavraville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! Paimon thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja. Oh. Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. I know this place pretty well. Hmm. Follow me! As treasure is concerned. Is there a chest here?
Smells like something good is inside. Rosie, thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beast scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted spino crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. It's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I... Uh, I love them too! Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Hmm... Okay then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Whoa. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey Kale, are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. Ah, excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller, too, you know. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Paimon's not a finch! That's nothing to get excited about! Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exist in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time! Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos! Uh... <sighs> um... I haven't run 
in any papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. Wait, not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Uh, nothing, but that way leads us deeper into the Avidia forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Hymax not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Hymax not sure what look with your heart means, but... Anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do r and &R need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, this tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R &R from the stories would say. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever r, &R A clever r, &R -A. Is the emphasis on clever or r, &R -A? How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. 
Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In r and and the Three Little Fungus, it says that r and are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. 